everyone, Bricktails is back with a brand new invention. So this package just arrived, and it's not a genuine LEGO product, but I still thought you'd be interested. So this is a 3D printed Etsy product, and if this isn't a clue as to what it is, let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. So, not quite the same angle as the real Lego flower, but good enough. It's got the stud in the middle, and I wonder if this black stud comes off. Yes, it does. So there you have a giant Lego stud with the hole in the middle, the kind of wonky flower base, and three flower petals. So I thought that was kind of fun. Thought I'd put that with my other Lego sets, storage heads and such. So yeah, this came off at of Etsy. So if you search Etsy, you can find one for yourself. So thanks for checking it out. Let me know what you think. A few moments later. So we got a couple more giant Lego flowers. So here's the original Lego flower, so you can see the size for comparison. That's the old school stems, and there's a stud in the bottom, and the flowers in red. Then I was poking around on Etsy, and I saw this, which is pretty cool. So clearly it's a 3D printed version of the Lego flower. It's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty nice. In the pictures, it seemed a lot bigger than what it really was, so when you put it down there next to the original, it's a lot bigger, but it's not as big as this. So here's the uh, the packing slip from that original Etsy order for uh, about $10 for a 3D printed flower arrangement that looks like Lego. Then my brother got involved with 3D printing. He bought a couple of the same model of 3D printer and he started getting a 3D printing assembly line going of Lego flowers. So the first thing he did was made this. And, uh, he gave me the red flowers on it that you see here. These are all kind of Lego style where the pieces come off. And that was nice and blew this original one out of the water. Pretty cool. And then recently for my birthday, he came over with three more arrangements plus extra petals. My favorite colors are red and black. So he gave me an all black and an all red version and I kind of swapped them. And then he's like, I got some uh, glow in the dark filament. So why not do that too? So these are glow in the dark giant Lego flowers. So yeah, side note, can you solve a debate for me? Are the flowers supposed to go on like this? Or are they supposed to go on like this? So on the original, is it like that? Or is it like that? So I always thought it was supposed to be like that, but uh, now I hear it's supposed to be the other way. What do you think? All right, so yeah, my, my bro went uh, 3D printer crazy. I'm so grateful to have all these different giant Lego flowers to put all over the house. And uh, these could go outside, inside, whatever you want to do. They look great on a shelf. They're super awesome. I have the small ones on a shelf next to my Lego vintage camera. I'm really enjoying it. So thanks to the original Etsy seller for the idea, Bear and Wolf Studio. And thanks to my brother for uh, doing it way better. So basically, um, you can see that all the Etsy sellers who are doing this have taken their uh, design from a website called Thingiverse, where you get designs that you can plug into your 3D printer. Because the one that my brother found on Thingiverse is like the same exact one. He just expanded it to the maximum size that his printer could print. So yeah, just thought that was interesting. Um, well, thanks for checking this out, because this is uh, pretty cool. Okay, bye. Save, fly, 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 fly.